Hello, my name is Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumin Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. And today I'm going to present the next video that I have. Uh, I have sort of a mini series here that are going to be talking about the transmuting, the templating, the prototyping, and the grid work and your grid points. So I hope to give you somewhat of the bigger picture to give you some perspective my expectation with this is that some of you will have some of your memories pop out. Some of you will understand what it is you are here to do with your twin in a really sweet way. And some of you will actually be able to hang on because we're at one of those points where the portal that started in March, that portal is closing. Okay, it's it was to usher in quite a few people. There have been people that do, have done a tremendous amount of work and they've been waiting and, waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting in what seems like perpetuity. But I'm here to say to you that we are now entering into the cycle of the beginning of the new. Uh, a lot of this is a process which means there's numerous transitions that are being made. This is not a flip the switch kind of ascension. It was just not possible from inside these bodies. And some of what I'm going to explain to you will kind of outline the reasons why on that. So I um, want to talk to you about a couple of things first before we get into what I'm going to talk about. If you had a lot of questions about what is an Illumin Twin Flame Patricia, and I wrote it out here, I'm going to write it on my blog, we are the original source love twins. We are the highest vibrating angelics. Now what that means is we are able to hold source love. We're able to hold source love with our energy bodies in our hearts, pretty much our entire body, right down to the sum of atomic particles and our energy is source love. Now what does this mean? We are the ones who uh, have chosen to be in separate forms and yes if we've chosen we are the chosen ones but we ourselves were the ones who chose it and so that can seem paradoxical especially here in this density that we're leaving you know why did I choose it why is it like this well why did we choose to do so many things many of us did choose to um, what what my perception is, is in some ways explore uh, different things with our twins so that we could meet up here. We are also weaving everything through multiple layers, multiple dimensions, timelines, and uh, systems, and in between uh, systems at every level. So what I want to tell you is that the end of the karmic template in this lifetime by uh, we are ending the karmic template. So in other words, the template we've had for that last cycle is the karmic template. That was a, a template of 3D duality. We are ending it. We're ending it so we can be in full union with our uh, twins, so we can merge back together into oneness. And we are the ones who house the new 5 the template of divine love and sacred union. We Illumin twins are the ones who hold it first and we are actually gifting this to others. So what I've written here, the merging and love making of the twins of the twins emerges your light bodies. This is your ascension by resurrection and this orgasmic higher love that twins create and house is healing and ascending themselves first and then we are gifting this template to the entire planet so that yes everybody else has the possibility of receiving the gift for divine love and union okay so that's that's a longer explanation for what I gave in my last video in my last video yes exploring choosing to explore everything 
um, yes, some people have taken that to the nth degree. And I have met people that, you know, they're going to come crashing and skidding and sliding and go, woohoo, what a ride. And other people are too sick. They've also done some of the same things, but the soul damage is hurting them. And uh, this is where we have some of the disparities. And there's of course, a lot of talk on the internet. It's this way, it's that way, it's that way. The real truth of what is your union is found within your heart. And it's always the best thing that if you get clarity, you know, it's coming from your heart. It's not going to come from your head. Uh, some of what's on the internet, and frankly, you know, what I'm presenting now at some point will become old news. While it might be news to some people or it might just be confirmations. And maybe for just right now, I am a person that is helping you along your journey, just like many other people have helped me on my journey, as well as my guides, as well as my heart. And I've always gone back to my heart. And I will say this also, because this has been a really tough week for a lot of people. A really lot of people um, it's been since the full moon there's been uh, really intense energies and we're still in July there's a lot of uh, mental scatter and chaos there's a lot of confusion there were also a couple of events that occurred one with a plane coming down and another um, you know where there's actually a war situation in a couple spots I can say with all certainty that um, this is scary stuff. There are people actually living in this. I was doing a reading with someone, and while well, during the reading, the bomb sirens went off. And I live in a suburb of Chicago. We have the same sirens, and yet this is part of our routine. We've never really had anything happen here. And this was live, and I'm on the call all week I was having calls drop for some reason, and I know the reason, this call never dropped. I heard the sirens the entire time, and I thought to myself, you know, this is real stuff that people are experiencing out there. Does it affect us? Yes. And I'm going to say something here. This love is my salvation. It's always been my salvation. And yet, it needs to be available for everyone. And every single time in my life when things turn to crap, you know, I learned and adjusted by, yeah, it's easy to get angry. It's easy to say, go bomb those people. Well, let's just blow up the planet and start over. Well, let's just do this or that. This is not us. This is not who we are. That's not the love. And there had to be another way. And I kept saying to my guides, because uh, when I was awakened, I felt on fire. I was like, ooh, I'm a keeper of the flame. And this is sort of something that a lot of people go through. They have their spiritual awakening. And, you know, then you find out some of the slogging work it takes. Well, um, I did. I actually talked to someone and I said, ooh, the cavalry's arrived. You know, I'm here. And they said to me, it's work. And I turned around and said to my guides, what, how could love be work? I mean, you just love. Well, it, was, it has been a process. And so every single time that a friend got sick, um, my parent got sick, something happened, I lost my job, I actually went to my heart and I asked. And I did receive guidance. Now, after my awakening, this expanded for me because I have actually done several planetary ascensions. I didn't know it at the time. My guides knew what I was capable of. And so they actually were the ones to push me. Every time I said, well, what if my friend got cancer? What, what are we going to do about that? I mean, some of this stuff isn't making a dent. These charities and these... Uh, prayers and like we need some real action like put us together it's time to merge and go and they said to me wish it for everyone and so I did but along with that wish came the template and with this templating this is the new so my last video talked about the transmuting and 
getting rid of the good, the bad, and the ugly. We didn't actually get rid of the good. We stored it for ourselves. We used it to create new, and it's, it's waiting. Some of it's waiting for us to kind of pull back and, you know, uh, affix it to ourselves. Some of it was bad, and you don't want it, and we put in the black hole. And some of it was just ugly. It had to be obliterated forever. So um, that's that part in a nutshell. The next part, the template. The template of 5D love and union. And uh, to give you a little bit of a history, I've lived in Atlantis. I've lived in other planetary systems that I know for sure. One in Aldebaran, in Andromeda, in Sirius, in the Pallades. Arcturus, many other places that some of you haven't heard the names of. But so, for some of us, our history of the Blu-ray Illumin Twins goes like this. That, um, yes, we were in the Pallades, we were in Andromeda. We actually were pursued by invaders. Now, we did have a civilization here that we established. So, as we left Source, the Illumin Blu-ray Twins have an agreement that we were to assist Gaia with her ascension, as well as expand the grid of life. Well, something happened. Um, in Atlantis, there were portals that were similar to Stargates that, we were, that had been set up and established, and people came through. We... We were living as ascended beings, 5D ascended beings. And we lived here. We levitated things. We uh, used crystals for this uh, purpose, for healing, and for other reasons. Uh, every color of crystal had a purpose. Now, some people are going to remember this. Some people are going to sit there and say, Patricia, I don't know what you're talking about or what this has to do with union. But... There is an important thing of what it has to do with because um, as we uh, as things disintegrated, there were cl cataclysmic results of of this. There was a misuse of power. There was a lot of use of the mental and the sacred sexual without the heart, and we were heart based beings. We did things from the heart, and so that's where some of the disparity here. There was also damage to the psyche, which greatly affected the masculine, not only the masculine. And so what you, in essence, had were some twins that willfully separated from their counterpart, even as they were living as ascended 5D beings. And some of them actually had, um, you know, been convinced or brainwashed, thought it was a better idea, and this actually caused a tear in their soul. We also fell. We experienced a dimensional fall. We got sick. Um, we weren't able to uh, consume the food and water. It was uh, amounted to being at a different vibration. And we did learn to adjust. We've been trying to get up out of this. And so this occurred approximately 26,000 years ago at part of the cosmic cycle of Earth's ascension. There's a natural cycle of everything turning. You know, so like the entire solar system turns. And this is a part of Earth's ascension. This is an astronomical fact. You could look it up on space.com or nasa.com. There is a revolution. And so uh, it actually coincided with several other things. Um, but bad news. It was a reversal. It was a reversal of us. We fell and there were literally people, counterparts, many of them feminine counterparts, but not exclusively feminine, um, who were literally torn away from their twin. And they've been waiting. So a separation, an agreement to separate is actually different <clears throat> than a a tear in your soul, and that's what's been being repaired. So this is going to bring me to um, what we are doing with this new template. So many of you who have been transmuters, and it may have felt like you're transmuting for the collective, what you are transmuting is actually whatever you yourself 
have either experienced or perpetrated. It could be bullying, it could be deceptions, it could be hoaxes, whatever, or, you know, it could be victim type of things. Whatever it is, you you sent it on its way and it went. Now you're simultaneously pulling in new energies to activate yourself. I'm going to say this as well. For many Illumin Twin Flames, almost all of us, for this last lifetime, this last bit of the karmic cycle, which is this lifetime, which honestly ended in 2010, and we transitioned. There was a mechanism put in place where many people did not die. They were able to, yes, live with cancer and move on or live with an illness and move on and continue their ascent. Those people, in, as little babies, they stuffed parts of um, their soul into the body. They activated some of their chakras. Now, I talk about some of this in my June webinar in much more detail. Um, but suffice it to say that as we moved along, um, this is it. This is it for many people. It's happening now. So whether it happened last year, 2010, 2012, you know, at any of these juncture points, we're now at another juncture point where there's going to be there's going to be a divergence and there's going to be people who've decided and firmly stayed on the path and are being literally pushed together with their twin. Why? Because for a woman twin flames, it's a natural occurrence to merge together. And in fact, many of you have been merging um, at night in your beds while you sit somewhere at work through interactions. You're continually receiving bits and pieces of yourself and of your template. Some of you have also stashed parts of yourself or your masculine counterpart has parts which are now being pulled through. Why? Because you're at a vibrational level to receive the rest of yourself, the rest of your essence. So what, what we're continuing to do is continuing to receive primarily right now the electric masculine and feminine and holding it within. So a lot of you have had a bumpy ride for this, uh, this last bit of energy here that started at the full moon. Perception was it started at the full moon. It's actually started a ways back. And in fact, um, there have been several Venus transits going back several hundred years, right around this time of year. So right after the solstice, and if you saw my one video, the June into July uh, transition, I talk about it's time to celebrate. Well, you wouldn't know it with some world events, but here's the thing. The energy of being able to celebrate your freedom, your liberation, your sovereignty, and yes, to claim it, claim your union is here. The energy is here to support you. And what does this mean? Well, if you look historically, and, and I actually looked this up on Wikipedia, there are 33 countries that in the month of July have claimed their independence and also have claimed their sovereignty. Now, it was interesting to find out that Queen Elizabeth actually is still the sovereign of 16 countries or territories. That kind of surprised me. But who knows how long that'll last? Because as you can see, there are places that are still, they're feeling it. They're feeling to be out from under people's thumb, to be independent, to be free, to be sovereign. Uh, what does sovereign mean? Sovereign means you're the king and queen of your own realm. It also means that you're not reliant upon um, maybe government handouts or pharmaceuticals or certain ways of being or crappy jobs or something or living in a certain area just because that's where the jobs are. Um, or for twin flames, it means being without your twin. So energetically, yes, you are able to claim your union, claim your sovereignty. Does that mean it happens overnight? It's already been happening for many people. It's been happening for me because I have been uh, among some of the first people to uh, do the templating, prepare it for my union first, and also to be able to gift it to others. Now, the gift goes first to anyone in your immediate circle, anyone that you've established a new relationship with. 
and um, it could be family, it could be friends, it could be a job, you know, people at your job, whoever your spiritual uh, connections are. The other thing to know is that um, everything is a spiritual connect. Our energy is in everything here because we're the creators. But what are you creating? You need you sometimes will have things come up that make you examine and take an inventory of what is my relationship with the government, with my credit cards, with money, with um, other people, with um, my boss, with you know it could be anything, and it could be foods. Um, in order to do the templating. I did have to fast. I once fasted for 10 days to clear my system so that I could fall back in love with some of the things I was allergic to. And some of this was pork, it was onions, it was uh, chocolate. Uh, some of the things I, I love because there are teeny tiny minute connections. And so, yes, this is the receiving. So. Everything that we've loved has been stored away and ready to receive again. I love chocolate. That's something I've loved since a child. I just knew and I taste it and it's it's just it it, it tingles my senses. But the thing about it is is um moderation, quantity, also what is you know where is the origin? Because some of these origins is what's hurting us. Is it harvested with slave labor? Is it um, a fair trade thing? You know, what is our situation with what a, we've been in different lifetimes? Because some people have fought wars over wheat. And then they wonder, you know, well, why are these wheat gluten intolerances coming up now? Guess what? Our relationships with everything have to do with us, the new templating. Does it mean that you can never love wheat again? Because frankly, yeah, there's something about the wheat. And I will say to you that I was also a part of that, that I participated in. I abstained from wheat because uh, there is something that is a possibility in my genetic lineage, but it's been obliterated. I enjoy wheat and I still do. So the transmutation is uh, being continued of what does not belong in 5D anywhere and also in my genetic lineage. Now what does belong? Things that we love belong. And it can be foods, it can be um, objects, it can be places. It is not things of low vibration, so it usually is not dive bars or um, pickup joints or things like that. There are uh, quite simply some things that do belong in 5D that we also love and we are not living in 5D. We are ascending so there's not a flip to switch point. There is us lightening up our vibration in the same way that uh, a balloon lifts off. There's not one temperature that the balloon takes off at. It's not like you heat it up over here and then all of a sudden it goes poof. That's a rocket. We're actually doing it more like, you know, with uh, a warming of the air and, you know, we're increasing our vibration. This does translate into your body sometimes as uh, little aches, pains, um, still that teeny vibration or, you know, something that helped me this past weekend was this, this kind of wave like little uh, fish do or the fin on a, a seahorse where it's it's just this teeny like ripple you know there's there's ways that you can adjust your body expand a little bit to receive because some of this is uh, coming into us in a minuscule way some of it's very big and it's up to you to adjust for receiving as well as sending out we are also doing the template so that our love making continues to flow and expand the love out to everything here, everything that's been created. And this is children, animals, uh, situations, systems, organizations, places, it's geographical places. And um, when I first awoke about eight years ago, my really big awakening, I would meet people that were global transmuters. They would uh, they would feel pulled to certain areas. I remember one person talked to me about being at Pearl Harbor where there was bombing and he actually would 
uh, you know, there's, it kind of looks like you're bundling it up and smushing it into a little package and then it goes and it gets just obliterated. But anywhere where there's been um, denseness, hatred, and you know what I'm talking about because many times you'll walk into a room and you could just feel the vibe. Well, there's a lot of vibrational pollution here on this planet, but it is lightened up even as much as we get lightened up. Many of your counterparts have had to lighten up because the way that it works is that the magnetic masculine is the holder. And I'm going to get into that a lot of that in my next webinar. And the electric masculine holds up. So the uh, overlighting energetic of this planet does happen to be in third density. It was electric masculine got a lot of things done, a lot of action. It also got out of hand. It it uh, became very, you know, nitty gritty and, you know, we just don't want to go there again. And yet some people are still leaving it. Some people are stuck there. Now what is assisting is the electric feminine, the electric feminine, which actually is um, being brought in from the other places. So this is being woven again. And so we're actually not in a third density. We're in a mid to high. You know, there's some people are in high fourth density, mid fourth or low fourth density. It, it's sort of a spectrum. You know, it's like how you feel the air, you know, as it gets more rarefied. And these in 3D, that cycle was uh, a karmic cycle. It was, that was a template. That was us re-experiencing situations that we had lived out in other lifetimes, P aches, pains. This is why you see everybody getting sick on this planet. And in some ways, Earth is a giant healing center. It's also the place where people have been, or entities, our spirits, our soul, has been assured that you can come here and receive the new template. What is this translating to, though? We have a population explosion. You know, how are we going to feed these people? How are we going to close these people? Why are these people coming into our country? Or why are those people going to that country? And it needs to shift around where um, there's a, a kind of a, a threefold thing going on here. The love is lightening up people's hearts where they just feel like it. They feel like giving. They don't feel like being mean. And that's another thing. All of the meannesses, they are just going to have to go. But um, it's still happening. It's still happening. And your union will protect you from things. And I know a lot of you are saying, Patricia, you're preaching to the choir. I've been wanting my union for years. Well, it's coming uh, for you. I can also say that from my perspective, talking to a lot of people, that it is happening in certain countries where certain things have been moved into place. Uh, a lot of it's in Canada. A lot of it is in Australia. A lot of it is in the Netherlands and some other places. Uh, it's still cracking off in other places. And, you know, everyone's doing the best that they can on any given day. But those people that decide that, well, that's it, you know, I give up or so-and-so said it's not for this lifetime or my twin just doesn't exist, that's you talking yourself out of it. I'm here to tell you, though, that the Illumined Blu-ray twins who, from the time of Atlantis, have been waiting... It is your time, and you are not crazy. This is happening for you because you have uh, what you experienced was uh, somewhat needing to be rescued. It's like when someone slips off a mountain. We've got you by the lifeline. We're holding you. We're pulling. We're pulling. We're pulling. We're holding. We're holding. And as soon as you get put together with your twin, you can merge and go. And you're... You are being held. It's not easy. It's painful. Um, it's been a really long time, which feels like this, why this lifetime feels like a really long time. And I'm here to tell you that I have several friends. I myself um, was hurt and wounded in Atlantis. I had to be 
cocooned. I had to be sort of resurrected and, uh, well, I'm having my resurrection now, but I had to be brought up through this karmic cycling of, you know, reincarnation. And we're doing this and we're doing this until now it's time because we've reached this critical point. We've also reached a critical mass. So some of the twins who don't uh, resonate with that because it's it's other people's stories. It's not their personal story. Some of you are here on a rescue mission, which f makes it feel like I'm on the mission. And some of you are here to receive the new template so that you can go on in your travels and your journeys with your beloved counterpart. There are also people who are not twins, who have never separated, whose souls never split or tore, and those people do, through us, have the possibility of receiving a divine template for love and union, which will feel for them very, uh, I don't know how exactly how it feels. I've been assured that it will feel the same for them, where the same possibilities exist for them to go into any environment, to travel, to go through vibrational portals. Um, some of this sounds like sci-fi. I realize that because some of you are saying, you know, I just need my twin to acknowledge me. I just need my twin to hold me and hug me. And I hear you. And for some of you, I'm going to say this too. You are contending with your twin's grief of losing the old because we've gotten rid of it or you've gotten rid of it for your union. You're also contending with the last bits of the mental emotional body and it might it can make you feel crazy because as it's being literally squished off of your counterpart, it can come to you, leave you with doubts, leave you with fears. And it's important not to own that. It's important to own your union. I myself have had to push through several things. And I will say that um, darkness, low vibrational emotions cannot exist in 5D with you. But what some of you will find is that as you keep focusing on love and keeping yourself light, it slides off of you. There's no density to hold that kind of pain, that kind of emotional pain. It's very short-lived if you experience it. And so if, if you stay in a state of grief or despair, and I'm not saying it's not real, that you're uh, perceived experience isn't a real experience of pain, loss, grief, um, bitterness, or whatever. Whatever it is that you're feeling. But do your best to get yourself out of it and move along. And I'll say this again. This love is my salvation. It always has been. And I, I say that because I've had some recall of this. Um, so that being said... I have uh, a silly friend who wanted me to put these cats here. And what gets me by is the dance. I have several pictures of dance around. Like I have this one here. This one, uh, let's see if you could see it. This one is called Dance Me to the End of Time. It's by Jack Vetriano. And it very much resonates with me because I feel like that's what we've been doing. And that hangs. This picture right here is Blue Velvet. She's by Dennis Mukai. And I just like to think of her as holding the Divine Feminine right here in my house. And, um, yeah, so she was saying, you know, cat videos will get you by, too. That, that's just silly. I'm from the Midwest where we grow corn. And so we can be very corny with our jokes, but our hearts are in the right place. And I will also add that um, I'm going to have another video having to do with some of uh, the, next, the next steps of this um, that have been put into place for people to pretty much step into. And thank you so much. I do do one-on-one -on -one sessions, either consultations, uh, which are reading or a session, which does include energy. Again, it may not be for everyone. And if you are so inclined, you can check out my website, which is in the description below. Thanks so much. Please have a wonderful day. There's more. So stay tuned. Bye now.